thank you very much for invitation for, to this important conference celebrating uh, French uh, uh, School of Autonomic Forms and uh, uh, also in memory of uh, Godma. Uh, uh, I'm very happy uh, just to be present here because uh, uh, part of in my PhD thesis was on uh, spherical functions and I spent uh, not too small part of my mathematical life working with discrete series and these both concepts were brought <coughs> in the center of uh, interest by Godma. Actually, I met uh, Godma first, I think uh, I was with uh, Michel de Flos around uh, Gissier in 1985 when I completed the GL unitary duo of GL, uh, GLN. So uh, the last time I met him, I think this is habilitation party uh, which uh, made uh, 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 Corinne, and actually it, it was then interesting to talk with him about history. So this is he. Okay, so I, I, I in my life I, s I had some experience, bad experience with history. So it was <laughs> interesting to talk with him about, so let's say, some aspects of this. Okay, <coughs> uh, regarding this French school on automorphic forms. I first came to Paris in 83. Uh, actually, it was kind, it was just in the middle. I was uh, working on GLN and uh, since then I, I had very good relation with people from French school. I, th I think it was very fruitful in both directions. Uh, <coughs> okay, so now my talk will be uh, a deal with unitary duals. So, equivalence classes of irreducible unitary representations of classical groups, classical group G. Later, I will uh, just um, spend some time uh, discussing the case uh, of rank 3, generalized rank 3. So, Gelfand concept of harmonic analysis tells that uh, important representations of G, unitary representations of G, should be understood in terms of irreducible ones. Uh, one of the most often non-compact, uh, non-commutative uh, group in math is GLN. Uh, <coughs> so we will be here interested in, in other uh, in other classical groups. Uh, okay, so this will be over local field F, F Archimedean or not for the beginning. So for other classical groups, we have a quite limited understanding of unitarity. So therefore I will, and this case is pretty well understood, so I will start just the description of this case and uh, uh, okay, so let me uh, introduce some notation which anyway I will need for uh, other classical groups. So this will denote normalized absolute value. So then we will use notation of Bernstein and Zelewinski for parabolic induction. Uh, just uh, you know this very well, but you put here pi one, here pi two, zero and here extend trivially induced and this is this notation. So with df we will denote uh, all equivalence classes of square integrable representations, irreducible square integrable representations of GL, uh, okay, of GL and f and at least one. Okay, so now if you take, so these are discrete series, if you take a discrete series here uh, and some integer, positive uh, representation, okay, also we will denote by new absolute value of determinant of f. <coughs> so then we will consider representation new to n minus one half delta times 
you now decrease exponents by one up to nu to n minus one half minus delta. So this uh, representation <laughs> by Langlois classification has unique irreducible quotient. We will denote this by u delta n. So these are called Speer representations. So, uh, okay, so we will denote by BF rigid the set of all Speer representations. And by BF, uh, so union of r this rigid part and times nu to alpha pi times nu to minus alpha pi. Uh, <coughs> and pi is uh, a spray representation. So, uh, okay, and alpha is greater than zero, less than one half. Okay, so now we can write classification theorem, uh, which tells you the mapping pi one to pi k into pi one cross cross pi k is a is a by ejection uh, from. Uh, the set of all finite multisets uh, in the uh, and BF in BF onto uh, union of GLN F unit reduce and greater or equal to zero. Okay, <coughs> so this uh, very simple uh, theorem uh, to a state uh, solves for unitarizability question for GLN groups in Archimedean and non Archimedean proof. So the proof is not that simple like uh, expression, but uh, also it's not too complicated. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, so this theorem applies to Archimedean and non-Archimedean case. So, and in my experience, uh, uh <coughs> even if uh, I'm interested in uh, all the Archimede uh, non-Archimedean case, somehow the, the simplest expression of uh, unit unitarizability is uh, one which applies also to Archimedean case. For example, with uh, Lapid and Muic, Uh, we classified uh, <coughs> generic uh, unit reduce of classical groups and uh, uh, theorems uh, applies uh, in both cases. Also with Muich, uh, uh, we classified spherical unit reduce of, cla of split classical groups and uh, the proof is uh, only for uh, spherical case, but uh, we expect uh, that uh, the formulation makes sense in the Archimedean case and we expect to hold there. Uh, <coughs> so, but today I'm going to talk about possible strategy uh, for uh, to approach unitarity uh, for other classical groups, but it will be exclusive uh, 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 for non Archimedean case. Uh, okay, this may sound contra uh, some kind of contradiction uh, that I, as I said the best is uh, to have uniform, and now I'm just switching to one. Uh, okay, uh, so there are some reasons for this. Simplest reason is that I do not know, I do not have idea uh, of approach which, which would, uh, let's say, make sense in both cases, uh, some effective, so I can. You, uh, I can do something, but not really. What can try to do, but there is no. I do not know. <laughs> have idea to go a little bit further. Okay. <coughs> Second reason <coughs> is that 
I started to uh, think about this approach, which I will uh, um, uh, talk today. Uh, after I, after uh, 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 Lapid and uh, Alberto uh, published a few, actually two years ago, I think, a paper which uh, uh, just which give even uh, uh, the, the simplification to this uh, the proof. But let me just maybe before say tell one additional thing. So this. This theorem uh, also applies uh, to uh, GL of a division algebra. So this was proved somewhere in the 1984, beginning of uh, 84. So, and this case was proved by Badulescu, Renard, and Secher. Uh, about 20 years later uh, after this. So uh, one of the reasons that uh, uh, it took uh, so much time was uh, that uh, uh, proving irreducibility of unitary parabolic induction uh, was hard and it, uh, it was not able there to apply strategy of, I would say, Gelfand, Neimark, and Kirillov, which uses uh, Mirabolic uh, <coughs> subgroup and properties of uh, uh, invariant distributions. Actually, uh, the, pro uh, the, the theorem of uh, Badolescu Renare Sacher is more or less uh, uh, everything is same except one need to uh, uh <coughs> to in these definitions <laughs> switch put instead of new some uh, power of new, which can be explained, appropriate power. I'm not going to talk about this. Okay, so uh, Secher solved this problem of irreducibility of uh, unitary parabolic induction just using types. So his uh, proof is actually uh, very interesting, but also very, very complicated. So, <coughs> What uh, uh, what uh, Alberto and uh, Erez did is that they essentially showed one property uh, of uh, Sperr representations. I, I think they call this that, uh, which is which is not the which is property of non just in non unitary dual. Uh, I think that they call this that these representations are saturated. That if you take pi, spare representation, and then multiply with any irreducible rep GL representation, that this representation has unique irreducible sub-representation. Is Alberto here? Okay, so I hope this is right. Okay, so uh, so th this is something which doesn't have much. Uh, uh, things with unitarity, it's, it has with spare representation, but from this, essentially using the strategy of this, they, they were able to get uh, this theorem also in uh, uh, in uh, uh, division algebra case, but also in field case, it's now significant uh, simplification. You, you do not need invariant distributions, and their proof is basically uh, using the uh, the very well known <laughs> theory of uh, of uh, Jacquet modules, uh, which was developed very well by Bersnan and Zelewinski. Okay, so now that we we essentially their proof, uh, 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 you can now go to this classification just. Uh, understanding only first reducibility points. So if you have a row irreducible cuspidal GL representation, you need to know this exponent, okay, new to alpha row, when this is re reduced, alpha greater or equal to zero, and then from this you can do everything. So, okay. <coughs> so this 
open possibility that uh, you uh, so you you just this cuspids are black boxes and uh, you need to know this alpha and alpha is equal to one in the field case so always uh, okay so I said this open and uh, this uh, just uh, motivated me to think can 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 you do, do uh, this for other classical groups okay so but uh, uh, we need to know ingredients, these ingredients of cuspid re representations and uh, uh, reduci cuspid reducibility points. Okay, so classification of uh, Arthur of uh, discrete series, uh, more, more general uh, tempered representations, uh, uh, and Maglen work on this. Uh, she uh, singled out. Uh, Cuspidals, uh, parameters among them, and also she gave a simple formula for reducibility points in this case. Uh, so, thanks to Arthur and McGlenn, we have now ingredients, this Cuspidals representations and the, uh, reducibility points. Okay, well, just to think about such kind of approach, which uh, let's say now uh, it's possible in GL case, uh, uh, thanks to this uh, to uh, Erez and Alberto. Okay, so now we, we can go uh, to classical groups. Uh, so, and uh, there is also one reason not the real reason, but there is some historical experience. So it's interesting that uh, this uh, theorem was first proved in non-Archimedean case. And just immediately after, just uh, you, you start to think, okay, what, what happens in Archimedean? And then it, it was pretty soon realized that it, it works also in <coughs> Archimedean case. Uh, <coughs> okay. So one may ask why it was not proved in uh, first in that committee case because here this set, uh, okay. So this set, let me see, is, did I wrote, okay. Uh, discrete series are Im is much smaller and this uh, case was much more el elaborated. And uh, as let's say Bush Bushnell, Bushnell knows, uh, this is much, much more complicated uh, in Pieri case. Uh, and even it's interesting that uh, it, this was not conjecture in uh, Archimedean case because it's very simple. But uh, the truth is that uh, uh, Gelfand and Neimark in their books from 1950 and I think maybe even in some paper in 1947, I, uh, they, uh, they claimed for, let's say, SLNC, but just this is essentially the same as GLNC, uh, <coughs> uh, this to be uh, unitary dual uh, here, and but the, what later turned by Stein that this uh, their list was incomplete, actually not some represent some complementary series uh, were missing so in the dimensions bigger than one, so this is okay. okay even uh, Neymark published in the beginning of the 50s proof, which was completely wrong, that this is uh, uh, the unitary dual, and somehow this was later uh, abandoned. This idea, okay. So I, I said the first was solved non Archimedean case, and then Archimedean case. Now it's uh, question, puzzling question. Uh, so is it going to be this the case also in the for other classical groups? <laughs> so I do not know. <laughs> so also, it's an uh, interesting question why it was solved also in the first in non-Archimedean case and then in Archimedean case, even this GL case. Okay, so these are just my uh, unorthodox thinkings. So let me let us now go to uh, classical groups. <coughs> uh, 
So. BF is all spare representations. Spare representations. Okay, so <coughs> for simplicity, uh, oh. I will will consider SP to n plus one F split. So these are all G in GL to n plus one F such that uh, G G tau, where this is uh, transposed, but with respect to second diagonal, is identity mat matrix. Uh, okay, F uh, is in the rest non-Archimedean and characteristic zero. Okay, so also we we can uh, uh, we'll look at symplectic uh, groups. So using uh, realization by matrix, this one 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 minus one minus one. Okay. Uh, <coughs> so what what is here uh, important that Levy factors are isomorphic to. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I do not want to invent uh, odd symplectic group. <laughs> <laughs> so we discover something new. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Uh, okay. So I was writing this, and I was already thinking about this. So this was the problem. So okay, now Levy factors are isomorphic to GLK. So such groups we will, I will denote by Sn. So, so I will fix one series, nothing uh, than uh, just denote. So uh, fix one of the series, it doesn't need to be just of also some other. So then a uh, Levy uh, subgroup is isomorphic to Sn minus k. And actually isomorphism, isomorphism which we will put here is just that uh, GH is going to uh, G H G to minus one tau. So this is something like this. Okay, so now uh, uh, when you have a representation pi and sigma pi of GL, sigma of uh, classical group, so it's you, you can uh, make tensor product and induce uh, extending trivially here. So uh, and uh, just like Bernstein Zelewinski, you can define now multiplication of GL representations and uh, uh, classic group representations. <coughs> okay. Now we can we'll say here. What are capillary disabilities? Uh, <coughs> so we'll fix now rho uh, irreducible caspillary representation, GL representation, and sigma irreducible caspillary of classical group. So we will assume that uh, it's uh, self-contra gradient advice. We will not have reducibility. Then uh, by Silberger, there is unique uh, uh, exponent alpha rho sigma uh, greater than or equal to zero, such that nu to alpha rho times sigma is reducible. <coughs> so. Uh, okay, so this is silver res result that there is uh, unique this and it's not uh, uh, that complicated. But what is uh, complicated is, is the fact that these exponents are integers or half integers. So this was proved by McGlenn. 
So, <coughs> uh, uh, now from uh, Arthur homomor uh, admissible homomorphism attached to Caspian uh, 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 representation sigma, one can read the reducibility point. I will just uh, go the other way. So, uh, so this is nice. Uh, a fact proved by McGlenn is that if you fix sigma as above caspital irreducible of classical group, then you can <laughs> read uh, uh, admissible homomorphism attached to sigma uh, from all reducibility points which are one or bigger one or than one. So it's following. So sigma corresponds to direct sum uh, running of a, a self contradictory row such that alpha rho sigma is greater than or equal to 1. Now you have a direct sum of k is greater than or equal to 0 less than or equal to 2 alpha rho sigma minus 1 such that k is congruent to 2 alpha rho sigma minus 1 modulo 2. And here you have uh, phi GL rho uh, tensor product of e with ek. This is uh, local angle correspondence, uh, correspondence uh, for GL. And this is a uh, unique analytic irreducible k dim dimensional representation of SL2C. Okay, so uh, from Caspian reducibilities uh, greater than one, you can read admissible hom uh, homomorphism attached to sigma. Actually, it's obvious that you can go other way. So read from this. If you know this, uh, what are this? Just uh, and this is what uh, McLean calls uh, uh, f fundamental assumptions. So this is okay. So there is also. Uh, so thi this is uh, relates this uh, reducibility points. So you can also read when it's zero, when it's one half from the type of uh, uh, this representation. So if it's not uh, greater than uh, one half, it's one zero and one half, and you just need to uh, look at type, and it depends on the group, uh, just which one you will have. Okay. Scarification. So this is a local language for GL. So now, so these are uh, uh, reducibility points. So this is uh, uh, what I said, very simple formula for, for reducibility points. So uh, second thing is that uh, McGlenn singled out uh, uh, Caspital representation in uh, Arthur cl classification. I will not uh, go uh, in uh, um, description of uh, uh, precise de description, but there, there, there are three very simple con the, uh, conditions for them. So no gaps in admissible homomorphisms. Second is uh, uh, corresponding character of component group uh, is alternated. And last is if you have uh, uh, in uh, uh, admissible homomorphism piece like of this form, so uh, characters is equal minus one. Okay, so um, my idea is not uh, just to explain this, but just to give impression that it's a very simple conditions uh, which uh, distinguish Caspian representations in uh, uh, Arthur's classification. So next thing which we have is uh, uh, reduction. One simple reduction is the following. So if you take now rho essentially square integrable 
uh, <coughs> okay so mm, actually uh, okay so do I, do I need uh, okay so it Caspel GL representation irreducible then there is unique uh, uh, rho u unitary and alpha uh, okay e rho a real number such that rho is isomorphic to new to uh, e rho uh, rho u so uh, um, actually you you just take non character you you twist by character uh, uh, to get unitary representation and uh, <coughs> so uh, and then to minus one this uh, this so th this defines this and this and this actually what for us is interesting now only this so now we have definition uh, we call admissible irredu uh, uh, irreducible representation pi of classical group uh, weakly real if if you have if you embed pi into some product so where these are cuspial representations this is gl this classic group uh, uh, then these unit par unitary parts are self contragredient so in the case of let's say when these are really characters so, so it means that these are real uh, valued <laughs> okay uh, so maybe about one decade uh, before I prove following simple result uh, take pi in S n uh, so irreducible unitary so then exist uh, tau irreducible unitary GL representation uh, and pi 1 uh, in Sn minus k uh, hat weakly real such that pi is isomorphic to pi 1 cross uh, tau so since we know uh, by the, there, so what are irreducible unitary representations? So this reduces problem to uh, weakly real unitary, irreducible unitary representations. Uh, actually, here's uh, also a claim about uh, uniqueness, uh, uh, but uh, certain uniqueness. Uh, uh, this is unique, but this uh, I'll not go to talk about here okay so next thing uh, uh, what is uh, here is that people who work worked with uh, uh, GLN Caspel with GLN uh, usually uh, very often very soon uh, somehow uh, uh, turned to look at representations uh, uh, supported by specific uh, particular uh, Caspel lines uh, actually, in this way, you using simple parabolic induction, uh, uh, you write pi as product, uh, where these representations are supported by cuspid lines. By cuspid li lines, we called uh, so representations supported by. And then uh, important uh, questions of representation theory uh, uh, about p pi, uh, just simply reduced this, this uh, in lines. And I actually, whenever I was uh, 
computing something seriously, I was uh, computing in lines. Okay, so uh, in the case of, uh <coughs> uh, so wha what is here for us interesting is it, it's, uh, it's almost, uh, it's pretty easy to prove that, for example, pi is unitary if and only if uh, pi i are all unitary. And actually one uh, direction is very, very no well known that uh, parabolic induction carry uh, unitary, unitary to, uh, to unitary and the other is, uh, uh, I, I, I think this was first noted by uh, Spee, uh, but it's pretty easy to show. <laughs> okay, so uh, in the case of uh, uh, in the case of classical groups, we do not have, uh, we cannot uh, do uh, use the parabolic induction for such reduction. But there is something uh, which corresponds to this, and this is uh, uh, Janssen decomposition. I will just. Uh, uh, Sorry, SO2, SO2n is not included, or is it? You said SO2n plus 1 and SP2n. But what about SO2N? Uh, I prefer O2N. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, <well. laughs> no, no, the, if you work with SO2N, so oh, then. O2N, O2N, I mean. Okay. So O2N is, is included, so this is, but uh, uh, I, I feel more comfortable for with symplectic and order orthogonal groups, <laughs> so this. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we have Janssen uh, decomposition. Essentially, I think that uh, for SO2n uh, plus 1 is, uh, it's the uh, SO2n plus 1 is equivalent to O2n plus 1 because it's just a simple product with center. So there's maybe, maybe just. Easy dimensional orthogonal Yes. Okay, we will now denote by C uh, all Caspel GL irreducible Caspel GL representations. Uh, now take some X su subset of C, uh, and we will suppose uh, here that uh, it's S set, uh, it's uh, same as with contra gradient. Uh, it's not, not point wise. Uh, now, uh, as you know, just you know what, what is support in GL case, but this similar, uh, we will similarly define, with similar defined support in, uh, uh, in uh, okay, you, you say that uh, some GL representation is supported uh, in X if pi is, Over rho i is i and x. Now add Caspital irreducible uh, representation sigma of classical group. Then you say that representation pi of classical group is supported in x union tau if pi embeds into uh, okay rho one times times rho k times sigma rho i uh, in x and, okay, so this is this. Uh, <coughs> so now, I, I, I said what are Caspian li lines of GL representations uh, uh, fix. Uh, okay, so now, take pi weekly real. Okay, we, we could look, consider not only weekly real, but for us, uh, this is only interesting. And take some Caspian line, we will take uh, just self contra gradient. Uh, then you can find sigma, irreducible Caspian representation of classical group. Then pi L, uh, irreducible representation of classical group supported by L 
and uh, pi L C uh, irreducible GL representation supported out of uh, L such that uh, pi embeds into pi C L cross uh, pi L. Uh, so what is interesting, uh, this is completely determined by pi and L. So now what is also is it just obvious that uh, uh, there exist uh, finally many cuspid lines, let's say L1 to LK, such that for, for other cuspid lines, uh, pi L is equal sigma. Oh, lines L. So essentially nothing except this uh, uh, cuspid representation sh show up. Then uh, just uh, Janssen decomposition is just by ejection pi, uh, just attaching to pi to uh, pi L1 to pi LK. And now, uh, okay, now there is by ejection between, uh, uh, it can, uh, just you can in interpret the li like by ejection, I will not uh, uh, talk about this, but the simple pi is, g is described in this way by representation supported in uh, this uh, uh, cuspidal lines. Okay, so here I think um, sigma is missing by this cuspid lines and this sigma. So, uh, okay, so, so uh, actually this, uh, uh, what Janssen has shown that this uh, correspondence, this bijection has mm, very nice properties, just uh, irreducibility, square integrability, temperedness, uh, multiplicities, uh, uh, are either preserved or multiplicities you just uh, uh, you need to multiply and s to get them and so on. So I'll not talk about this. But now I'll ask. So this uh, is a question. Is pi unitary if and only if all uh, pi li are unitary. Uh, there is very, uh, uh, this was more or less trivial and in this case uh, uh, no implication is uh, uh, obvious actually this is quite hard question and there is a uh, uh, some evidence for this very limited, so this is uh, limit, uh, generic. If pi is generic unitary, then spherical, then, uh, okay, rank less than equal three, and then also some, some partial results in one direction. Okay, so we do not know this. But if uh, we would know this, uh, this would reduce problem of unitarizability to the case of unitarizability in cuspid lines. So this L unit sigma, I mean representation supported by this. Actually, even if it, it doesn't reduce uh, when you will start to look at reducibility, you will probably not go to more than cuspid lines, just one cuspid line. So, question which arises here is does, uh, okay, I, I, I have defined before this. Uh, rho cuspid and self contrague rho and sigma denote this uh, reducibility point. 
the only reducibility point among them. Uh, okay, uh, next question is, does uh, unit reducibility depends only on alpha rho sigma, not on uh, uh, rho and sigma itself. So I will not, this uh, question can be uh, very precisely uh, stated, uh, but I will not do that. It's using uh, uh, Langlands uh, classification, but later we will, you will get impression what, what I mean by this, that uh, uh, it does just depends only on this. Uh, <coughs> so last year I tried to check is this approach uh, works for in uh, uh, in a generalized rank three case, and actually uh, I, I will now talk about this. Uh, so uh, my approach is not very clever, and it's a lot of work and so on. And I think uh, Michel Diflo knows uh, you are looking at complex groups of rank two and <laughs> that this approach by brutal force is pretty painful because you need to compute everything. But uh, I'll not, I had just, there is this paper on my web page, but I, I'll not, uh, I'll, I'll give only idea what, what what is happening here. And then after this, I will discuss a little bit just general case. Not general case, but just thinking of general case. <coughs> so we come to unit reducibility. In Caspil rank ranks less than or equal to three. Actually, rank three is uh, new, but uh, this. This was known smaller ranks. Okay, so uh, so it means I will ask for unitarizability of representations, sub quotients. Here it these are Caspital, uh, where k is less than or equal to three. Uh, okay, first uh, now question one is. Uh, so that uh, Janssen decomposition preserves uh, unitarity is very simple. It's, it's not completely trivial, but uh, in this case, in this case, have positive answer. Uh, so now we are left with uh, uh, representations uh, uh, supported by uh, Caspital lines, so this uh, on the union sigma. Uh, okay, the case k equal one is obvious. I will not write, and this is well known. You have a, a unitarity, unitarity up to first reducibility point, and that's that. So, case equal two is very simple. Although the proof is uh, not completely trivial, namely you are just working with uh, rho and sigma and uh, what you are using uh, only is a reducibility point, no, nothing about them. So reducibility point alpha rho sigma, I will just for shorter write simple as alpha. So I will write, uh, so, so general case, here general case will be combination of these uh, lines. So you need to know what happens in uh, when uh, k is equal one, k is equal two, and k is equal three. What what is uh, uh, I said k equal two is very simple and uh, it's known for longer time. I'll write proposition. Okay, maybe just. Okay, maybe I can, I can skip this, I, I, I can go to, okay, so to k equal three case that to save a little bit time. Uh, so now let me go to k equal three. 
so in k equal three, uh, so you need to lines. You need to uh, treat this. Okay, so you should have. You have infinitely many cases, and uh, just uh, so good thing. Uh, what I uh, say in question two is important. Just that uh, you do not have additional uh, uh, just informations. Okay, so here you uh, you you have four separate cases. So this case you can treat as one. So and here is a sim simple answers are different. So actually, the uh, strategy is from this, but just somehow it degenerates, and uh, you you need to uh, a little bit <laughs> to adapt uh, uh, arguments, and this gives also uh, different uh, different. Uh, Answers and also dif different little bit proofs are technically different, but the same as uh, ideas like in in uh, this case. Okay, what I will now I will uh, describe this case because it's most interesting. And just let me say that this case, uh, these two cases, uh, show up infinitely more often than this case. Whatever it means, infinitely more often. I, I can talk a little bit, but let me just now say what, what is answer in this case. Uh, uh, I will just recall what, uh, what are generalized Steinberg representations when alpha is greater than, simple, uh, uh, strictly greater than uh, zero. Then uh, look at, so alpha is the reducibility point. Uh, look at representation alpha plus n, n is greater than or equal to zero, so rho, and you decrease by one to nu to alpha rho sigma. So here you have unique irreducible supper representation, and I will denote this delta nu alpha rho, nu alpha plus n rho sigma. So, and this is square integral. Uh, and I call this uh, generalized Steinberg representation. So now we can uh, tell how looks uh, answer in this case. So this is proposition. Uh, let alpha be greater than or equal to three half pi irreducible unitary sub quotient of nu to x one rho times nu to x two rho times nu to x three rho times sigma, where uh, x1 is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to x2, less than or equal to x3. Always you can come to this situation. Uh, okay, I will denote this family by star. Then uh, pi is one of the following irreducible unitary sub -quotients. First, uh, delta nu to alpha rho, nu to alpha two rho, <coughs> sigma, or its uh, ober stuller schneider dual. Second, uh, irreducible sub quotient of uh, nu to x1 uh, rho times uh, theta, where x1 
is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to alpha minus one. And theta is uh, uh, delta nu to alpha rho, nu to alpha plus one rho, sigma, or it's dual. Uh, okay, so this is two. Three is a uh, unique reducible quotient. of nu to alpha rho times nu to alpha minus one rho times uh, delta nu to alpha rho nu to alpha oh, 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 nu to alpha rho. Okay, so here you have some only one. Uh, of, okay, so this, and number four, I uh, just, uh, 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 complementary series, irreducible sub quotients of star, uh, with Xi satisfying uh, at least one of following uh, conditions and uh, okay so conditions are uh, a is x1 x2 plus x3 x then uh, less equal than one uh, b is uh, x1 plus x2 less than or equal to one x2 plus one less than or equal to x3, less than or equal to alpha, then uh, x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 1, and x3 is greater than 1 minus x1, less than or equal 1 plus x1, and uh, last is uh, x1 plus 1 less than or equal to x2, and x2 plus 1, less than or equal x3, less than or equal alpha. Okay, so these are complementary series, a little bit complicated, I think. First, these conditions you can find in your papers, uh, and then uh, later in the Barbash paper, there are such uh, conditions for complementary series. Okay, so the, th the theorem is not uh, uh, too complicated, but uh, unfortunately, the proof is uh, I said just uh, it is by brutal force uh, and I'll maybe just say only a few words later about uh, the proof. Uh, so uh, let me just say that unitary duals are topological space spaces in a natural way. So what is uh, what are most delicate and uh, usually most interesting uh, parts of uh, uh, this uh, uh, unitary duals are isolated representations. So, in this theorem, isolated representations are, are mostly discrete series or duals of discrete series. So, we understand them pretty well. Uh, <coughs> So there is one additional isolated representation. This is uh, this representation. This self-dual representation, and actually, uh, so it's unitary, and uh, but it's not discrete series. Uh, definitely not uh, uh, a dual of it. Uh, and uh, uh, un unitarity of this representation was proved by Maglen. So using uh, uh, Arthur. Packets and her work on uh, uh, Arthur packets. So, so, so this is uh, first really interesting example. So you, you do not get in the general generalized rank two. Uh, let me say for GLN, the first representation for PRD GLN, which is not neither, which is isolated 
uh, module center, uh, but not uh, discrete series or, uh, or uh, dual of discrete series uh, you get for GL9. So this is. <coughs> Uh, <coughs> okay, so maybe just the last few minutes, uh, I will tell you what can be expected in general. I'm not, uh, I'm, j uh, I'm only, <laughs> I want to say that, uh, in this low ranks uh, situation is very simple. Uh, so let, let's say if you think about SLN F and now you look at spherical unitary dual, only isolated point is trivial. Uh, representation. So it's uh, okay and must be different from two. So Muich and me uh, made classification of circle case in uh, a circle interview for classical split groups. So later I just uh, I spent some time uh, to single out uh, isolated representations there and to write comp uh, 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 combinatorial formula for number of uh, isolated representations. So for example, for SP200, uh, so there you have uh, isolated representations, 16,551,855. Uh, so <laughs> so it's, it's, you have a little bit more. And actually uh, the number, when you look at, let's say, this lower ranks, uh, it's two, two, three, then maybe five, it's going very slowly and then at some point it uh, starts to go very fast. Okay, so uh, just let me uh, say how how you just uh, in uh, our classification pa paper uh, uh, is uh, uh, based on Muich paper where he showed th that these representations are all automorphic, namely the, the unitarity coming from uh, uh, from because they are uh, uh, local factors of in the residual spectrum. So this is how it's proved. But you can come to this representation in different way. So. Uh, denote by X all generic if a, if a hori fixed discrete series of SP 200. Uh, okay, so then this is a finite set. Then there exists X prime subset of X such that uh, dual of X prime is e equal to all isolated spherical representations in this case. So, uh, okay, so actually, uh, McLean and me uh, did construction of discrete series uh, from Caspers, uh, and uh, what this really uh, on what this really uh, fall, uh, depends is uh, uh, this reducibility point. So I'm just, okay, uh, 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 maybe just one or two minutes. So uh, when did we start? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I, I'm, very, I'm very well known for being late with end, but today we have, we have been late with beginning. So at what time did we start? So oh, maybe an hour and five minutes ago. Not five, there, there was more than five. <laughs> okay, we will not negotiate I will, uh, one or two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, so uh, what 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 is just uh, I'm saying? If you now take uh, okay, so now a component of uh, Bernstein component of this type, when this is uh, generic, you can uh, uh, you can essentially uh, using this. Uh, you, can, you can copy these representations, but just we didn't. Here you are, you are you, uh, working with 1f and 1, okay, sp0. 
here you can put a rho and sigma and you, you can get in the same way uh, discrete series you apply duality and uh, from Maglen we know that uh, uh, these duals are uh, unitary so and it's natu natural to expect uh, that you will have uh, that you will have uh, uh <coughs> them isolated in unitary duals. So you will have also uh, at least this number. But then you, you, you actually you do not need only to take generic. So you will get much more. But just looking at here, and you know what are uh, isolated uh, uh, points here, you, will, you, you get that most uh, of isolated points in this uh, Bernstein component will be not uh, of uh, uh, discrete series or, or bare duals, but also uh, you will get, get another one. So this another one, I hope this they you will get them from Arthur pack packets. So, okay. So mo main problems in general are uh, classification, just uh, construct isolated points, then how uh, understand uh, how they decompose when you induce. And last problem, which uh, is uh, most mysterious, even from the time of uh, Gelfand Neimark, is uh, once when you will have some kind of list to prove to prove completeness, and this is uh, just uh, no idea. So it's uh, GLN is only case where we have. So going to non-unitarity is very painful, and this is uh, this was my approach uh, because I didn't have an idea. And uh, so for this rank three, but in general, this is uh, let's say here this there is no chance. Okay, thank you very much, and sorry for being a little bit late.